In this video, we're going to go through the process of creating an interactive portfolio using Adobe Acrobat Pro. Um, so we're not using the reader. You have to use the actual Acrobat Pro program. So when we go to Create, we have PDF Portfolio built in. And these are the different um, layouts that you can choose from. doesn't really matter which one you choose because you can change it later. And so I'm just going to start with the first one. I'm going to add files. Um, I'm just using JPEGs here. They're really not anything created in Photoshop, but this is just for demonstration purposes. If you're going to use PSD files, um, you have to convert them into JPEG in order for them to be um, viewed um, in this portfolio that we're going to make. So that's one step that you would have to take care of. So I'm going to select these five images click open All right, it brings in those different images um, you can also add video files so I'm going to add file from here and I'm going to go to my videos and this particular file format um, is an mp4 um, I'm not sure which kind of video files you can put in here. You can try. Um, obviously, this one is um, an MP4, and so it works. So I'm going to import this one as well. And so here's the video. Um, so if I want to change the particular look of this portfolio, again, I can click on different layouts. Um, there's different visual themes that you can choose that are uh, built in. Right, so you can take the time to um, configure it however you want. Now, a couple things to, to take a look at here. One, um, by default, the image will get a name, whatever the JPEG name is. So these are not very useful names. Um, so if you're doing a portfolio and you want to label all your work, work sample or something like that, you can take care of the file naming ahead of time, or you can actually edit right here in Acrobat Pro. Um, so I'm just going to use this particular layout for demonstration purposes. So we have a little eye icon, which is basically the info on the picture. And <laughs> come on, all right, let me just go in here. I'm going to switch actually to one that I know is a little bit easier to edit. So I'm going to go to grid. Okay, so um, if we want to add more details to this, we can double click here. And we have these two icons here, one to extract the file, which is not what we want to do. And then we have the info. So we go into info here, you can see the display name and the name of the file. So you can name these whatever you want. You do have to be careful for the name that you don't change the file extension because this is what it's referencing. But if I wanted to change the display name, for example, work sample one and then if you want to provide more details in your portfolio you have a description box and this is where you can put in um, if you know if you did this particular project in Photoshop you could tell them here um, you know I use blah 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 whatever features you want to highlight about your skills so you can do that for each um, of the images and then when you're done editing you just click the X and now you can see the um, display name up here is a little bit more conducive in terms of identifying what you're showing instead of just whatever the actual file name was that you imported. Um, so same thing here if the file name is too long um, I do want to show you that the video actually will run when you push play so that's the nice part about the interactivity I'm not going to show the whole video, but I can go into this. And so if this is an example of your ability to do stop motion, you can add that description. And then you can, again, go into the description box and you can write a little paragraph about whatever um, your skills are with relation to stop motion video. So once you do that, I'm not going to um, put descriptions in for everything. And again, you can totally control fonts. You just need to look through these. You can also change um, how large or how small the little icons are here. Um, and 
you can preview it. I'm just going to show you how to save it. So we're going to go to File, and we do Save Portfolio. Um, I'm just going to put it where all my other stuff is in this interactive PDF um, folder. Um, the file extension is going to be a PDF. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to take the default name here, hit Save. takes it a few seconds to generate. And now when we go to the folder, here's that PDF. Um, by default, if you have Acrobat Pro installed, it's likely that it's going to open in Acrobat Pro. Oh, but we know that Acrobat Reader is a free download, so you could send this file um, via email or put it on a flash drive, and anybody with the free reader program can open it up. So we don't want to just double click this and launch Acrobat Pro. I'm going to right click, and I'm actually going to open with the reader just to make sure that everything looks okay. So this is the PDF. And Again, it has the information, so the information, if you click on it, will have whatever. So it can give you, again, describe your skill levels or, you know, the things that you know how to do when you're explaining your portfolio. You want to talk about your skills. And again, even in the um, reader program, somebody will be able to watch your video. And so this eliminates the need, I'm not going to run the whole video, um, this does eliminate the need for sending, you know, a bunch of different file type um, attachments. Um, so you can just email this PDF, and they'd be looking at PSDs that you created, but the PSDs have to be converted into a JPEG format in order for um, the portfolio to work when you're creating it in Acrobat Pro. So that's it in a nutshell, how to create an interactive PDF. Um, so I suggest that you use this for creating a, a simple way to share your skill level with future employers or if you're trying to go to an art school you can create an interactive portfolio that showcases your best work.